Welcome to Partners Dog Training, one of the largest and highest rated dog training facilities in the Southwest. Why don't we start you off with a tour of our amazing facility built over 25 years ago. Our goal is to help every dog through their training journeys, especially when it's the last case scenario. The customers that come to us on a weekly basis are from all over the country due to our excellent rapport and specialty services. We know that every dog has a problem, but every problem has a solution. That's where our journey begins. This week, we have our puppy Daisy coming by for her basic obedience training that'll be developed over the next few weeks. Her owner, Brett, tells us that he's excited and ready to bring her in. Good luck with your training, Daisy. Hi, my name is Brett Fitzgerald. This is Daisy. She's a Labrador pit bull mix, and she has a lot of energy. She loves to come here for training. We live in an apartment. Daisy is uh, crate trained. She stays in her crate at night. Throughout the day, I'm there with her, and she has lots of energy. We do her training throughout the day. It's tougher than it looks, isn't it? Now let's go check in on our instructor, Dakota, and get her initial thoughts from meeting with Brett and Daisy. My name is Dakota. I was the trainer for Daisy, and um, her owner's name is Brett. When they first came in, um, seeing Daisy, she was definitely like such a cute puppy. And then um, sitting down and talking with Brett and stuff, she was adventuring around the room and hopping on the table and stuff. So I was seeing like the different confidence that she had coming into a new environment and being able to like sniff around, find different cookies on the floor, hop on the table and get all into our equipment and stuff. She was very confident and sweet. After our little sit down together, talking about Daisy, seeing different goals and stuff, going back into training area, that's when I started noticing, not exactly shutting down, but definitely getting nervous. It was a new place, new environment, especially for such a young puppy. Um, so coming back, I was letting her sniff around, meet new people and stuff. She definitely, her confidence went from a 10 down to like a three. So that was like gonna be the first step for us starting training is just building that confidence back up, getting her used to different environments, um, familiarizing new rooms, sounds, noises, things like that to help her kind of go back up and that's where we got most of the progress once her confidence went from low right back up to a 10. After just a couple weeks of training, Daisy picked up on the obedience commands very quickly and was ready for Brett to come pick her up and transition back home. For the transition going in, I always go in first without the dog and explain like what we worked on, how I'm going to be working them into the room. So I sat Brett down and talked to him about everything we worked on. So socialization with dogs, working on her nails, heel, sit down, place, all of the basic commands, some of the exposures and stuff we got her used to and what I'd like him to continue going forward. Um, I let him know how smart and quick learning she is too, so that hopefully he can take this a uh, bit of a foundation that she has now and turn that into something bigger later because he had expressed interest in being able to do maybe more advanced obedience classes, agility, fun things like that. So I'm excited to see her continue into a good training path. And so we're walking into the room, we always have them like heal and like stay calm with us before we even let them say hi to the owners because we want to send them home on a good path of I'm not going to immediately run and jump on my owner after all this training. Um, so we worked through a lot of that and was talking about just how to kind of transfer all of this foundation over to him. Brett has been at home with Daisy for a week now doing some obedience training. He's coming in today, so let's see how he did after one week with her. Going into a follow-up, I always want to see that a lot of the obedience is kept up with, especially coming into the building. So I'd gone outside to help him work her through some of that distraction. She was very excited to come back in. She was definitely remembering the building, which I was really happy about. Plus, I needed to give her some snuggles the second I saw her. Um, so I came out, I said a little hello to her, I helped him work through her not jumping on me. She was getting a little excited and that was something they were struggling with, just jumping on people. So immediately like walking in the building, we were starting our session. So I helped him, worked on some jumping with me and then getting into the doorway. So we always work thresholds going in and out of buildings. So coming in, I had him sit her and work her back into where we were going to be doing the follow up. I was expecting her to be a little silly and a little jumpy and stuff. Like I said, she's very puppy brained. So she does get distracted. She does need to mature more as she's growing, but 
he had good accountability on her. He was working her really well. Um, we just went over being able to meet dogs and people and stuff, so things that would help transfer some more of her obedience into real life. So like if he was going to a dog park or if a friend was coming over, we worked on a lot of how to meet these new people. So I pulled in a couple of my coworkers to be able to come in and say hello to her while he worked her through that as well as me. After we came back from her training camp, after the first two weeks, it was totally different. Uh, before we went in, she was really difficult to handle being so energetic and being so young and me not having as much time throughout my day to train her as I would like. But Dakota and all the trainers did a really good job uh, teaching her all the basics and getting her foundation down. Uh, so once I got home, she was a lot more well-behaved. She still got a lot of puppy energy in her, but she doesn't chew up the house anymore. And she goes potty outside for the most part. Still some accidents inside, and that's okay. But they did a great job um, getting her up to a better standard. Dakota's training and partner's pet training has been awesome for her and for us. She's doing so much better around us and other dogs. Hey, what are you doing? And now we can go through her training and spend more time together and have a happier relationship. Way to go, Daisy. She did an incredible job and Brett has already signed her up for some follow-up group classes.